I'm speaking to Danny Tarkanian, candidate for U.S. Senate. And uh, who is, uh, well, if you can give a little background about uh, who Danny Tarkanian is. Well, I grew up most of my life in Las Vegas. <coughs> I moved here when I was 11 with my father. He got the head coaching job here at UNLV in basketball and moved the whole family from Huntington Beach, California. I went to high school, Bishop Gorman High School. I've always been involved in sports. I'm uh, proud to say I was a member of uh, the state championship team in football at uh, Gorman. And we won two state championships in basketball. I went on to college at UNLV and had an opportunity to play for my father uh, at UNLV. And we were the first number one ranked team in school history, one of the things I'm most proud of. And uh, after graduating from college, I went on to law school. I always wanted to be involved in public service. Uh, I enjoyed reading books on public servants, and my mother was involved in it. She was a 12-year school board member and now a city councilwoman. And uh, so I went to law school to get involved in that. And after law school, though, when I got out, uh, like a lot of people my age, we were worried about making money and being able to provide for ourselves. So I worked for seven years as, as an attorney. I uh, did a lot of transactional work, which is sit behind a desk and write up documents, which wasn't nearly as enjoyable as if I would have actually done more litigation work get in, tr in, in the courtroom and, and trying cases. But after seven years, my dad um, uh, took the job at Fresno State, the basketball job there. And my family thought because it was the trilight of my dad's career that one of the family members should go with him. And since I had played for my dad at UNLV and was the oldest son, uh, um, I decided to go with him as his assistant. I had uh, eight wonderful years there. Um, uh, and then when my dad left Fresno, actually the best part of Fresno, well, I met my wife there, she's from Fresno, and we got married the last year while I was there. And uh, after my dad left Fresno, I moved back to Las Vegas. Um, we, my wife and I have had three uh, beautiful young little girls. One is six now, and we have twins that are four. And my wife's pregnant with our fourth child, which we um, hope and we believe is going to be a boy. And um, I uh, started, I opened up a basketball academy to help the, the, the youth of Southern Nevada uh, to learn not only athletic skills, but life skills that you can learn through sports. I think that's one of the key elements we're missing in today's society, uh, the great things you learn while you're competing in sports at a young age. And we're trying to bring that, uh, uh, give that opportunity to the youth of Southern Nevada. I named it after my father, the Tarkina Basketball Academy, which uh, hopefully will keep his name within the community. At the same time, I got involved in, in politics and I ran for uh, Secretary of State in 2006. And, um, and now I'm running for uh, another political office. And uh, with that being said, I guess, um, I understand you're a lawyer by training. Yes. You've been a basketball coach as well. Yes. And uh, also you're a biz businessman as well. Yes. I Actually, my family and I own some land uh, and uh, a hospital was built across the street from it. And we decided we would develop a commercial center, be our, uh, the security for all my brothers and sisters and our immediate family. So I did the development work for that. And. Uh, what I mean with all those you know varied fields and like, what about the, you know those individual you know uh, jobs interest you the most? Again, as an attorney, I enjoyed uh, the courtroom experience, the limited time I had in that. I enjoyed the competitiveness of it and uh, the thrill of when you're winning, and even the disappointment of losing it makes you enjoy the thrills that much more. Uh, the development part is really just doing something that's going to benefit my family and and and, and uh, provide security for them, and that's very important and I've enjoyed that the most. And coaching basketball, being with my dad and uh, in a field that he loves and that I thoroughly enjoyed, that was also a lot of fun. And uh, it's kind of a change up here to agree. Um, what concerns you, I mean, what do people, when people talk to you about you know, concerns uh, and issues of the day, you know, what's the thing that comes up the most? Are you talking about from the political sense or from the uh, local sense? Both. Now, the political sense, what's happening now, the big concern for everybody right now is our economy and what's happening to it and uh, the unemployment rate, people being out of jobs and stuff, and, and uh, it's got everybody concerned. Uh, it's got uh, you know, my real estate, uh, the, the commercial center, right? I worry every night that uh, a, we could uh, end up losing that investment, or my family lose everything. You have 12.3% unemployment in the state, people who don't even have a job and can't support their, their, child, their wife. And, and, well, it could be your husband, your spouse, and children, and uh, how terrifying that is for everybody. Uh, those are the concerns that uh, that are out there, and concerns uh, concerns me very much. 
And uh, which is now the, uh, the, the penultimate like uh, focus question, I guess. To, um, you declared that you're running for Senate uh, just recently, and if I may ask, uh, why? Why, uh, why the run? Well, I, uh, as with most Nevadans, and I think it's borne out in all these polls that are coming out, we're very frustrated with the direction the country's being taken. Uh, we have a uh, representative who's a Senate majority leader who has so much control over the direction our country's going to go. And what he's doing is he's, he's doing he, he's taking us down a path where we're spending billions and billions of dollars, trillions of dollars that are going into bailing out of the financial institution, the auto industry. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, all this money that's being spent, uh, which is going to cause uh, huge inflations for future generations of Nevadans. And I'm concerned for my kids. Uh, uh, I'm concerned uh, with the direction we're going. I think someone needed to step up and run against Harry Reid, uh, who has one, uh, who doesn't fear Harry because most people do, and that can actually get in there and compete against Harry. And I think I can. And uh, someone who has a chance to win uh, against him. And I believe uh, with my prior statewide campaign, I have a good, solid grassroots base around the state. I can uh, be a formidable foe. foe. And uh, with that being said, I mean, the obvious question will obviously come up in terms of contrast. Again, it's Harry Reid, sixth term senior senator, who used to be a congressman uh, from Southern Nevada as well, um, who, you know, is the Senate Majority Leader which has a lot of great clout because the ability to you know, direct funds and resources to um, Nevada. And you yourself are a businessman who's had some you know, public service uh, running against, I mean, a pretty large uh, uh, resume there. You know. I think the one thing the past election has shown us is that the citizens around the country are tired of the old time politicians, the partisan politicians who want to bring people down and divide people as opposed to uniting people. And Harry Reid's the poster boy of that group. Uh, Harry Reid is the most part partisan pol politician in Washington right now, besides maybe Speaker Pelosi. Uh, they're running he head to head with each other. And that is exactly the opposite of what people want. They want somebody new who's not tied to special interest, who's willing to stand up to special interest and fight for Nevada. Now, uh, Senator Reid, is, as you mentioned, has been the majority leader now for a number of years. He's been in the Senate for 20 years. However, we're still at the bottom of the list in federal funds that are coming into the state. This past stimulus bill that he was the author of, we are 49th out of 50 states in federal stimulus money for education and 47th in health care. Uh, the money's not coming into the state, and uh, somebody new, new needs to get in there and, and fight for our, our interests. And uh, with that being said, on a range of issues, uh, you know, from wa uh, like water, you know, water and water rights, other states, and you know, and the economy, you know. Senator Reid's been, you know, has been, well, has been capable, has able, been able to bring, you know, funds, uh, you know, influence, and be able to kind of, you know, direct Nevada into better positions in that. And how do you, uh, be, how do you, uh, if elected, how will you be able to kind of, you know, meet those um, goals? Again, I'm, that's a lot of rhetoric uh, about you know, bringing the funds in for water and, and doing certain things. You know, my mother's on the uh, the water um, commission out here as a city councilwoman, and. Uh, they're terrified uh, that that is going to be uh, left behind and, and not have enough water. Uh, I don't believe uh, uh, our needs are being met. And uh, again, 20 years in the Senate and, and it hasn't been accomplished yet. How much longer do you give somebody? And of course, now going to the campaign bit, which I know it's kind of early, you know, kind of getting things settled up, you know, settled down, you know, settled down into the run here. And, uh, you know, Senator Reid, who's you know stated that he plans to you know, wants to raise a war, uh, war chest of twenty five million dollars, um, and it's got you know established political you know political network to do that. You know, as seen from the last election, um, you kind of have a bit of an uphill battle. And there's How, no doubt Harry Reid's going to raise his twenty five million dollars. The bigger question is why does he need it? He's a Senate Majority Leader, he's a twenty year representative in Cong I believe in the Senate, and four more in Congress. 24 years in Washington, and instead of being able to run on the record of what he's done and what he's brought back for Nevada, he's telling everybody, I'm going to raise $25 million so I can be wherever my opponent's going to be. To run a really effective race in Nevada, because of, uh, the media markets aren't as big as some of the larger states, you could run an effective campaign for $5 million. I'm very confident I can raise that money. I'm going to get my message out there, and I'm very confident I'm going to succeed. And uh, the other concern I also uh, one of the state is uh, 